Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, as you can probably tell from the title, we're starting an F1 My Team crew. This is something new, but I didn't change my name from Hazron 500 Ping to Haz F1 for no reason, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna pick to be a newcomer, because well, I wanna start it from the bottom, try and get up to the top, you know? First things first, let's create your driver. Yeah, I'll put this guy. Or I could do Yano. Also, Yano has been absolutely... I don't know what that face is from Yano. That's... Yeah, that's not... Well, that doesn't really look too much like Yano's real face. Of course, it'll be Australia. Because if you couldn't tell from your accent, that's where I'm from. Now, my name. I'll go... You know, I'll just go. I'll just go with YouTube channel. Yeah, it has a F1. Okay, let's try that again. Has a... Has a F1. I'll make my initials as there. Driver number. The main numbers that I use when I'm doing sport and stuff, right, is 8, which I could use that, 10, it's not available, and the other one which I reckon I will use, 66. And now, let's focus on your driver's look. Okay boss, let's get this team up and running. The first thing first, enter a team name. So my team name is going to be Hazard F1 Racing. I oh, know, how original, hey? Um, now let's choose yeah, a but... primary sponsor for this. Some sponsors offer a larger sign-in bonus up front. Some offer more weekly income. The better we perform, the more our level will go up as the team gains more acclaim. Doing this will increase the income from our sponsors. I'm thinking I might do... I might do this one. The Echo. Our chassis won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit, so let's sign one of those now. The better the performance and durability, the better. But be careful about spending all our cash. We're going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power unit supplies will also provide upgrades throughout the season free of charge. I know it's probably a really bad idea with how crap the durability is. But I'm a big Ferrari fan, so I'm going to go Ferrari. We're not much of a team without a second driver. Let's sign a teammate. Here are the Never drivers really interested in joining sign our team. Sign a teammate. Look at their stats and pick someone you think can get as good results, as long as we can afford them. We renew contracts periodically, so you'll have plenty of chances to sign someone else should the need arise. I've got a lot of options. Yeah, like, if I wanted to, I could go for the double Aussie lineup and take Oscar Piastri. I'm thinking... I'd, I think, I'm thinking I definitely want to... It's either between Piastri or Terra Porsche. Um, to be fair, though, besides the racecraft, Taylor is better at everything, so I might go him. So could drive will be terrible. Looks like we can share. afford this power unit supplier and teammate. We're gonna have zero dollars after that. If you're happy. Let's create the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. <laughs> There we 
go, this is our team. This right here is Hansa F1 Racing. Hello folks, and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres that will push tyre technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands, and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. Okay, well that was the start of our thing. Um, you can see we've got Fezzan R and D. We'll do with that now. I'll put some work into the chassis. You know, forty percent fairly chance that's not great, but then maybe some error to dive it off that all that. Alright, well, this set, that's the end of this first episode of my F122 My Team Career Mode. I'm hoping to make this a pretty, pretty big, big thing on the channel, and hopefully I can keep uploading it. I hope you guys enjoyed just this first bit of all the corporate stuff with the team and have a good one.
Cheers, fellas.